Hi there, and welcome to another Midweek Memo. John's Gospel says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those are the verses I shared with our congregation at the candlelit carols last night, and they feel even more true this year than ever. I love the lights at Christmas. I love the kind of coziness of the little lights twinkling in a dark Christmas evening. But actually, the light of Christmas is not just for the coziness. The light of Christmas is also for the proper darkness, the struggles, the anxiety, the uncertainty, whatever else we're dealing with at this stage of our lives and at this moment in our nation's time and also in our families and all the other elements of life that come together at this time of year. I want to encourage you as we come into these last few days before Christmas to remember this. Jesus is the light who shines in the darkness. He's no stranger to the darkness and he is the one who lights it up. Please join me in worshipping him who is the one who is the answer to all our greatest and deepest needs. A couple of notices for you just as we come into Christmas. We're continuing to look at government guidance and ensure all we do is safe. We'll keep you updated if there are any changes. For now, we look forward to having three services on Christmas Eve, really looking at the wonderful good news of the Nativity, celebrating that. And then on Christmas Day itself at 10 a.m. in the morning, come and join us in person or online as well as we celebrate Christ's birth. And finally, let me say that if you're still around and would still like a little bit more on Boxing Day morning at 8.30 in the morning, we will be having a said communion here in the building. Thank you so much for joining us and happy Christmas.